MZRFXP, welcome to my channel. R1CBU version 1.7 software on the X6100. Do I just quickly show you the settings menu? So if you press the app button, then press the bottom left button here, keep pressing it, you get to settings. Okay, now you can change it by turning, moving the MFK knob across. So for example, we've got the time here, let's just press it. And then you can change the right or the left digit. If you press it again, it goes to the left. So at the moment it's 9 a.m., so we'll go 9. And then to come out, hold it. Then you've got the minutes, the time, timeout brightness as well. You can change that. Again, hold it. And move to the next thing, push it again, there you go, it's moving now. Let's adjust that, so we'll hit it, there's your brightness look, got time out. Again, to back out, hold it, it goes grey. Button brightness, press that, always off, on and temporary, let's try it. Let's go off. There you are. Buttons are off. It's good if you, if you you know if you want to save battery life and you're portable. Hold it again. Always on. Okay. Remember to come out. Hold it down. Line in, line out. Need to ask what those, what the line out and line out adjusts. Is that the is that ALC? Is that the Q for the SDR connector. Mag frequency, so let's just press it. Hold it, just turn that one off. Hold to come out. That's not really giving me that, I see the on or off look. Time and power clock view, you can see that up here. So you can change it to always time or always power. We've got both and it at the moment it's it's going back and forth. Timeout clock power TX. So again timeout clock power and TX so timeout. Let's go back one up one day and month or back to the beginning. And then to come out completely, push the app button. What I haven't worked out is when you are in settings, do that again, app, and we press GPS. How do we get GPS? That's what I haven't worked out. Because that would be nice. Um, let's go. And we've seen RTTY decode. Obviously you need to be on the right frequency. You've got these different selections as well. If you if you use RTTY, FTA, let's do the scan. Make sure you've got an antenna connected. Span and scale all up here, adjustable, and then run. There you go, it's not amazing. But let's see what's that after I run the tuner. So we'll stop it. Tuner. Like so let's run. It's definitely better, isn't it? Under 1.5. Again, that's fun. App, that's, that's quick. Settings. App number one. App number two. So FTA, I've, I have put FTA on. And I've got the frequency on 7074. And then... I've set it to USB D. I think I've set the time. It starts to receive, it says RX, and I've got the time. And then, but we haven't had any stations come through yet. Let's turn it up. So I'm sure I'm probably doing something wrong. All right, let's try RTTY. Hit the RTTY. Mm 
Let's check we're on USB. Let's see what happens. Now obviously there's adjustments you can make here. And I never use RTTY, so I don't really know what to do. I'm sure that if you make the correct adjustments, you'll start to decode. Let's have a quick look at CW. So we can find some CW signals. Let's um, tune. Fine. Could be the filters that I've got on. It's not really, not really getting much, are we? I don't think I set any filters, did I? But it will automatically decode once you've got the correct settings. It's memories. There's filters there you can set, so that would probably help. Here's my filters. Ah, right, we're getting some decode now. QSL via the Bureau. All right, well, let's end it on a high. <clears throat> nice to see it working. 7-3, all the best.